Right guys, it is time to decontaminate the Ranger. Before I even begin cleaning it, I cannot keep looking at these side steps. I'm gonna take them off. Yeah, let's just get stuck straight into uh, giving this thing a bit of a birthday. Alrighty guys, we're back with the voiceover in this episode. Now these side steps are going straight in the bin. There's just six bolts either side holding them up. Tell me that doesn't instantly add value to your car. Now that that's done, we will actually, actually start washing it. I thought it would be a good idea to flush out the chassis because I don't think it has ever been done before. You'll see in just a moment how much mud dirt just comes out of it. There was that much dirt in there, it was actually clogging up the holes in the chassis rail, so I had to get down on the ground and clear them out. Once I finished fingering the chassis, yes, I just said that sentence, I took the tonneau cover off the back of the ute. Um, it's not in the best shape, so we'll take it off and we might get a new one in the future. Finish flushing out the chassis now. And just look at how much dirt came out of it. between washed and unwashed. <laughs> I won't film the rest of that because you've all seen somebody clean a car before, but I'll come back to you once I'm, once I'm done. You can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Kind of feel that way about this. It's getting super late. I am gonna pack her up and attack the engine bay tomorrow. The next day. I am going to attack the engine bay. It is gonna piss down rain here, by the looks of things. Anyway, let's see how we go with the engine bay. I've never actually done a proper wash down of an engine bay before. So we'll see how we go. I didn't go too crazy with the engine bay. I went to super cheap and bought some degreaser and a detailing brush and just went to town spraying everything that was dirty. And when I pulled the hose out, I just made sure I didn't wet anything that thought looked like it shouldn't be wet. gonna win any sort of detailing championship but it just looks a bit more presentable in here just a little bit I didn't want to get things wet that I wasn't meant to get wet shout out to anyone that details engine bays because I didn't even do like a crazy intricate job 
but that still took quite some time. The next day, I went to my local Bunnings and hired a carpet cleaner. I've never actually used one of these before, but it was pretty simple. Fill it with water, chuck some soap in it, and go to town on your seats. Take a look at the seven years worth of our sweat that comes out of these seats. take the seats out. Pretty sure that's mouse piss here. But if you're taking your back seat out, it's two of these either side and then you need to take the center seat belts out. So it's filthy in here. I'm just gonna get some warm soapy water and go to town on this. I should probably have gloves on. There's just four bolts holding in the front seats, the same as the rear, and I had to unplug the airbag as well. Taking the front seat out. Bloody hell. I'm just gonna keep on trying to make this not any more grosser than it is. So I just finished cleaning inside and I definitely fed up filming because I filmed it all in slow motion. Good times. Um, anyway. It is all clean inside, all clean on the outside. Decontamination complete. Take a good, hard look at this thing, how it sits right now. Give me 12 months and this thing will not look anything like this. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, have a thing about hitting that subscribe button, but I'll see you next time. Peace. This just came out of there. And it's still got the Mentos in it. Let's see how crusty it is. Still looks good.